scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you.
my heart will see no other name Jesus Jesus my heart will see no other name Jesus lift your hands and lift your voice and let's worship you
generation a chosen generation a royal priesthood a tithe a specimen revealers of his power dispensers of his realities Make sure you are praying. You're doing something to your spirit. Activating the operation of faith. 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 Participate in the prayer. Make sure you are praying. Casting crowns, lifting hands, bowing hearts is what we come to do. Casting crowns. your name. We will rise in your name. I know not. You reign on God. We will rise. Oh, hallelujah. In your name. The lifter of men, the one who can change the story. I don't know. Rain on high. You rain on high. I don't know. I don't know. The lifter of men. I don't know. The exalter of destiny. I don't know. Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel. About my many struggles, but by your spirit and your grace, I'm confident you'll solve them. But this is why I'm here. I'm here. 
Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. Beautiful rose of Sharon. What a wonder you are Beautiful rose of shepherd What a wonder you are Oh Jesus Don't look at me, go ahead and worship him tribe of Judah what a wonder you are I'd like you to pray and say Lord see what you've made out of my life how could I be ungrateful I want you to reflect in one minute look what he's done in and through your life the psalmist said if the Lord had not been by my side now may Israel say but thou O oh Lord I had a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head but thou and a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. Sing it as a revelation. But thou, O Lord, a shield for me, my glory. our love you have been good to us we cannot deny your hand in our midst you have been good to me I see your goodness all around I see your faithfulness and Lord together with your people we acknowledge you some may trust in horses some may trust in chariots some may trust in their intelligence lord but find the people tonight who trust only in the name of our god you have wiped our tears you have, you have exalted us and given us a name we return them. Before we continue in one minute, I'd like you to honestly open your mouth and tell the Lord that area of challenge in your life. That area that is making you to not praise God the way you should. Lord, I want to praise you, but this finances is eating me up. I want to praise you, but my health. Lift your voice in one minute. Talk to him. Be very sincere and open before your maker. Because we believe, that's why we are here. Jesus, hear the cry of your people. 
you see their pains and you see their hurts who but you oh God is able to wipe their tears and give them testimonies as the glory of your presence moves all over this place spare not your hand oh God stretch it touch your people Hallelujah. Jesus, we enthrone you and we proclaim you are free. Participate in the worship is doing something to your spirit. Stand in. In the midst of all, we raise you high with our praise. Saints of God, let's worship the mighty one. And as we worship, build the throne. And as we worship. time as we worship hey, as we worship In the place of worship you are not just singing worship engages the law of exchange it's like an intercourse between a man and his wife there is a transference of virtue right from the man to his wife give her time there will be evidence of that transference we call it pregnancy then she will give birth to a child that symbolizes her union with her husband this meeting is called koinonia there are many dimensions you enter into not just by preaching the atmosphere of his glory brings you into it all of a sudden you walk and find out that certain things become possible resolutions are happening in your spirit as you are worshiping it's not just about songs it's not just about songs Surrender is happening as you worship. Conviction happening. Healings. Miracles. Impartations. So don't you think we are wasting our time? If this is all we do today, it will never be the same. Mike said something when he came up. He said if Buhari comes to greet you, right? If, if Obama comes to greet you, their presence has an implication on your destiny. Let me tell you, God does not just come. He's invoked. It's the same way you invoke the spirit of a man. And it is worship that invokes him. He chooses the dimension he wants to reveal to the people. And then he causes them to sing him in that dimension to come. Hallelujah. So please, I, I don't want you to be careless with this worship. It's a little moment of worship. But let me tell you, a lot can happen. I worship you, great I am. You are mighty in this place. I worship you, King of Kings. You are strong, breast and one. I lift my hands in worship. As I see, pray. 
praises to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing. Praises to your name. I lift my hand in worship as I sing. Praises to your name. Sujada nena ke, kodiya nena ke. Sujada nena ke, to the mighty God. Godia nena ke, Godia. Come some. Sujada nena ke, Sujada, Sujada. Godia nena ke, Godia, Sujada nena ke, Godia nena ke. Sujada nena ke, mai che dona godia nena ke. Sujada nena ke, ya Yesu godia nena ke, mai pansa. Sujada nena ke, ya Yesu godia nena ke.
get to points in our lives where we think it's a waste of time to say thank you may we never get to any height in our life where we become ashamed and embarrassed where we see it as a waste of time to acknowledge you the bible says in all thy ways acknowledge you it says and he shall direct your path hallelujah please sit down if you can listen don't just come to koinonia to receive revelations come to learn wisdom especially those of us in ministry there is a force that backs your ministry when you can lead congregations to thank god in this listen please let's settle down in this time of ingratitude always complaining lord you would have done this thank you for the one you have done and we pass it very fast and then we begin to talk about the one he has not done it pays to be thankful and it pays to express gratitude lavishly this is the secret one of the biggest secrets in my life it's one of the biggest secrets in this ministry I can thank him and roll from end to end when David danced before God the daughter of Saul who was his wife said no you, are, you should know that your status has changed and Saul I mean um, um, who was that David looked at her and said I am dancing before the God who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me hallelujah when you see something happening in your life and it's not happening everywhere thank God for it because that means it's not commercial when you see results in your life you see people's prayer point as your testimony thank God for it are we together yes. God bless you good evening everyone tonight I want to over the next few weeks I'm going to be challenging us on our spiritual lives our spiritual growth we have taught on the principles of the kingdom but I want to challenge us to make progress in our personal lives as far as the knowledge of God not just his ways his person so I'll be challenging us along that thought and um, I have a very strong burden and a desire in my heart tonight and I'm trusting that God will grant grace to be able to speak to us. Let our hearts be opened. Isaiah 40, please. We'll read from verse 1 to 5 and then I'll teach on a few things and we'll pray. I trust God that uh, I'll be very brief tonight. It's a series so we can build from it. Let's see how we can pray. Um, Media, please get ready. Maybe at some point you may give us worship as we pray together. Isaiah 40. Are you there? Say amen. God is doing something in your life every week as we gather in His presence. He's changing us. His word does not change people by default. His word must be explained, must be understood, must be believed, received, and acted upon. Then there will be results. The word of God does not change you by default. Are we together? Verse 1 to 5. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your God. 2. Help us media, please. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem he says and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished that her iniquity is pardoned for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins verse 3 the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness prepare ye the way of the Lord make straight in the desert a highway for our God we're reading to verse 5 every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough places plain let's read verse 5 together 
one to read and the glory of the lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the lord had spoken it one more time and the glory of the lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the lord hallelujah i'm going to be challenging us today and the next few weeks we're going to be discussing on um, several dimensions of the supernatural uh, it includes our understanding of the glory our understanding of ourselves you see the way God designed the kingdom the way God designed spiritual progress is such that you know yourself by studying Jesus Christ are we together the only way you know yourself is by studying Jesus Christ are we together in the kingdom your relevance and your person is a derivative of all that Christ is so he is our project of pursuit please listen he is our project of study the Bible says looking up to Jesus the word looking up does not just mean looking paying attention pegging your focus on him is the same description that was given in Acts chapter 4 when he said look on us pay attention we're about to do something that will change your life so he says looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher let me start by saying something there is a formula for growing spiritually please everyone pay attention God is making you become something mighty there is a formula for spiritual growth you do not grow spiritually just by prayer just by fasting just by studying the bible there is a formula are we together if you have cement sand and zinc do you have a house no you have the materials for a house but the construction requires that the foundation is below are we together and the zinc is above if you take the zinc and put it in the foundation zinc is required for building but does that make a house so many of us combine spiritual things we pray here we fast here we read our bibles here but what we are becoming is not christ it means that our combination to create the pattern that will make us like christ is faulty so there is prayer in our lives i agree are we together there is fasting in our lives i agree there is the study of the word there's studying books there is corporate fellowship but to what degree it's just like you're cooking rice you apply many ingredients but not at the same level and not in the same quantity are we together the quantity of rice you put is not the same quantity of salt are we together if you put all of them at that level as good as they are they will not produce that are we together so the first picture is to find out what god intends for you to become and that pattern man according to scripture is the christ not just jesus the christ there is a big difference between jesus and the christ jesus was made the christ god's anointed god's model for the believer are we together now now please listen and pay attention as i build on these things tonight because they are very important for our spiritual growth according to god's design for spiritual growth the journey of a believer hear me should always start with an encounter of the person christ not an encounter with prosperity not an encounter with healing not an encounter with breakthrough are we together now you must meet the person christ the encounter with the person christ is the only legitimate way to begin to navigate the kingdom properly if at any time you are found exploring spiritual growth outside of the encounter with the person christ your growth will be imbalanced and you may delve into witchcraft are we together jesus said it this way i am 
the way in other words it is when you meet me that you can be sure that the path you are taking is correct are we together now there are so many believers listen who want to grow spiritually but we think the secret to spiritual growth is just rema now i've taught on different things i've taught on principles of the kingdom are we together now but let me tell you the truth the foundation of spiritual growth is not principles it's encounter an encounter with a person not his laws a person you can know the laws of tithing you can know the laws of church growth you can know all the laws that we have taught and yet not know jesus as a person you can know him as a religious figure that you strolled on stage here to confess him but you must encounter the person jesus are we together now i think i was discussing we're discussing this morning with Ejimi how that and i say this with all humility i'm so touched seeing our people this the way god started out with us please listen this is a very strong foundation the path of spiritual progress that god started with us and that's the path i have led and taught people for years and all those who have followed this path have grown properly that is your spiritual journey listen when you come into christ your first assignment is to pursue god with a reckless abandonment not to pursue financial principles are we together not to pursue relationship and love a marriage husband and wife right girlfriend concubine, all these kinds of things not to pursue them now but the problem we have with the church now and this is very serious it's a serious issue is that you find believers who come to christ the moment they get born again they never care to find out this person called Christ who is God's idea, God's pattern man. Are we together? What we do is we go and gather tapes which are important and we start indoctrinating ourselves with Greek and Hebrew words and start building our spiritual conviction on the fact that we are privy to certain information and that we are able to quote scripture and then the moment we think we are anointed the next thing is we are thinking of starting ministry or we are thinking of relationship let me tell you something and i need you to hear this and learn because it's important you follow i was telling it jimmy years ago when you got born again in eni here for a long time you had no business with men or women you didn't even know who was male or female are we together when you got born again there was fire everywhere fire there was no room to even see human beings all you saw was fire morning till night are we together our joke was the presence of god our fun was the presence of god it was never about rema it was never even about anointing it was never about ministry it was about a hungry people desperate for a revelation and an encounter are we together yes that was the foundation so people's prayer life was not just to get prophecy and go and give people and build churches i would some of you were part of these things are we together but right now there is a lot of catastrophe happening in our spiritual growth the average person gets born again and in four months he has a son he has a daughter are we together now moving around calling everybody my son my daughter i am pastor this i am prophet this i am apostle this they now look for one 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 church somewhere and, and start yoking themselves to rent to start organizing evening service church service double service uh, um, morning and afternoon service and all kinds of things i am telling you this if you follow that pathway you will never find god there is a formula to finding god are we together that's why you find out that everyone by the grace of god that we raised regardless of what they are doing that there is a level of backsliding you can't get to 
because of how you were trained. No matter how backward you are, Kai, there is a level to which your conscience will not leave you. The level of godliness we enforce was at a high standard. Even those we call backsliders are qualified to be pastors in many churches. Are we together? Yeah. But right now, there are people who have no business looking for husband and wife. That's their object of pursuit. Take what I'm saying very seriously. There are some of us here, let me tell you, at your level of spiritual growth, you shouldn't be looking at any woman whatsoever under no circumstance. Same thing for ladies. Because you see, people got into relationships and married. It was God himself that had to turn the faces of people and say, look, you have tried, you have labored in my vineyard. I think it's time to get married. But right now, people come to church from day one as they are sharing the grace you are pursuing somebody you don't know anything about how can we see now we are a member of koinonia that spirit will rob you of passion because your motive is not genuine are we together so the object they were people who never had revelation but they had presence you come close to them you know they know god they may not be able to explain everything yet they don't understand the principle. We walked in many results way before we understood the dynamics. Our hunger took us to that level. It was later on God started saying, this is what you are doing. And we said, ah, so this is it. Because you see, when you love God, you are not looking for what to get from Him. You want to walk with Him. Is God helping us? So I think that's the number one thing we have to correct. I can tell you over 70% of our prayer requests here is tied to things we want, not the pursuit of God. Counseling that time was not, this guy doesn't love me. There is Emeka, there is Gideon, there is Gabriel. Which one is the will of God? It was never, almost never part of counseling. Counseling was, I had an encounter yesterday. I need you to explain to me. Are we together? I searched a scripture and while I was studying the glory of God came upon me sir what is the meaning of that we look forward to night times because night times were officially the times of Holy Ghost baptism so everybody will get people feel the Holy Spirit and will discuss it but right now you see a lot of people supposedly with a love for God listen to me very carefully but that hunger that appetite for spiritual things is even those who we call men of God are looking for revelation because it looks like in our generation of the is revelation that will give you a seat let me tell you there is a dimension revelation stops it will take presence brothers and sisters ah. so we do not know the God we claim to represent we even fast and pray but our motives are corrupt we are fasting because you are saying kind i've been intimidated i saw a jimmy giving a word of knowledge abba if it's the kingdom it's also for me and then we go to fast are we together now and there is pride and arrogance people don't sit down to listen and learn the word again everybody is a man of god are we together everybody is a man of god we are only colleagues trying to grow together. That dangerous and devilish spirit, we must cast it out of the church in this city, around and as far as God's grace can take, and we cast it in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? The foundation of your spiritual pursuit cannot be things. I see how many of us are obsessed with money. We want to do well. Every time you look at people, you see a Jimmy's tie and you are wondering how many thousand is this tie. When we were together, that time, nobody cared who your father was. We sat on the floor. It wasn't even in a carpet. On the floor. How you will know people were madly in love with God was, we had some of our ladies that we would call Ajebo ladies. You see those ladies rolling in the sand under the anointing with their hair and all their guy and they love God in the rain. You heard David sharing his testimony that sometimes in the rain, it was not about noticing me, but now you see Christians. 
we say pray in tongues you pray for five minutes you're cleaning your mouth whether there's saliva honestly in my opinion you are not going far i can guarantee you is god helping us this is a series to challenge us god desires men and women who have paid the price to be his image carriers reflectors of his person but there is a key it does not start with looking for rema it starts with a hunger for a person i hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land for all i want is you when i started out in ministry i didn't know they used to give honorarium listen i never knew they used to give honorarium years ago i was invited to a church not too far from feeling said here we were living in front there it was raining heavily and i knew god's people needed to listen i was so passionate i prayed i fasted i prepared and the rain was heavy and you know the way that place is there was a pool of water and i said no nothing will stop me from blessing people it's a privilege to bless god's people a derivative of my love for god not pursuit of ministry i came out in the rain i was praying in tongues with joy and with my bible it was steve strings who saw me around the church he came out with an umbrella to stop me i was quite humiliated in that service but i didn't care it was a privilege are we together we inconvenienced ourselves with joy i remember one time when we were preparing for crusade we needed a lot of money our hunger for god a jimmy then he was the only one among us who had computer right and he put it up for sale put it up for sale passion and hunger but today we see the results of people we do not want their hunger but we want their results how foolish are we together there are many ladies who come to church now and you, you may see people like Shade, all these ladies that have been with us you just think oh they just love god these ladies were trained like men we didn't train anybody it was not gender if we prayed for five hours whoever was there child boy girl will participate that was how people were built Is God speaking to us? Let me tell you why many of us have not been able to experience the glory of God in our lives. It's not just about getting Rema, packaging 10,000, kneeling down to receive a quick impartation. You now run and go and tell your members, I just came from Zaria. You can't imagine what I'm carrying. No. A hunger. Everybody say hunger. Shout it, hunger. A hunger for God that drives you to his presence. Our fasting was not for things. I'm telling you, it was truly to know him. Then we had our spots. When it was daytime, everybody had his corner. Those to the dam. Those on top of buildings. Are we together? I was telling Ejimi, one of our tiny ladies, she was very, very small. Very small. You see her around 2 o'clock with her rechargeable. Don Muen song to put on her socks very tiny it's as if the rechargeable was 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 a bag of rice that's how she will hold it and that lady will come out around four and don't forget that there was lecture in the morning but people traveled it was a sacrifice and a passionate love for god but you get born again and you say lord i'm born again where is the man 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 you hear discussions of believers love relationship uh, marriage children Hapa. as if god is irresponsible sisters hear me i'm challenging you i'm telling you the quickest way to get a husband forget about it and pursue god let every man come and meet you ardently in love with god let god be the one to give you to a man you keep giving yourself and, and you see what happens you let him give you and for our brothers listen i've challenged us on establishment i've challenged us in many things but let me tell you there is no establishment outside of an encounter with god because demons are real you can build the house you can buy the car but you need an encounter are we together 
Everybody shout, I need an encounter. This is the foundation. People had dreams. Not, I don't mean dreams of, I'm a champion. Dreams of, I am pressing into God. You would see people who would get born again. The lifespan of catching fire was one week. After seven days, I'll never forget. You remember Jimmy, one gentleman who used to sleep on the bridge. Remember that man? That man got born again, filled with the Holy Spirit. He was addicted. He would sit down inside chapel from morning till night. He was sleeping under the bridge in flyover. That's the kind of fire. If you were born again, your born again had to be genuine. There was a strict system you passed through. From being born again straight, there was a brief session and then filled with the Holy Ghost. You, you will pray, we will hear. If we don't verify, we'll do it again. You had to be praying in flying tongues. And there was a system that engaged your spirit. Everybody around you was too serious for carnality to find expression. You talked about women, you'll be alone. Because everybody was searching the Bible. Our discussions. Was he Hades or Gehenna? That was our discussion. But you hear people who just got born again. I'm challenging us. This is the reason why several people may not find God. Ministry. Ask a Jimmy how many people spoke to me about churches and branches. You remember, sir? Oh, man of God. PFN were willing to give us an auditorium, train pastors just to come and start a church. And I went back and God said, no, you will die. We were so obsessed with seasons. We denied ourselves certain doors, even though they were open, to wait for seasons. But right now, everybody wants glorification, wants lifting. Hmm? A lady of 25, under pressure, time is passing. 25. A brother of, of, of 27. In, in four months, you have asked 20 ladies out. What is wrong with you? Are we together? Look at pastors. Pastors don't, don't they don't press into God. You never see them having retreats. They are watching football. They are traveling. They are doing ministry. What ministry do you have outside of his presence? Are we together? Daytime was for study. Night time was for ministry. That's what we did. I know how people ran away if they even called you pastor. Pastor this. We, we, we ran away from it. But some of us quarrel everybody. You are calling me what? What did I hear you call me? John. Me? The day you try that thing again, I will curse you. God truly found our hearts. We loved him with everything. Are we together? That time, the cooler ministry was not for relationship. The cooler ministry was to propagate encounters. Because we're tired, laboring there. Sometimes they would look and our sisters would carry cooler. It was not that they were looking for husband. It was their contribution. The ministry of Dorcas. Genuinely for fire. Please, Koinonia, hear me. I'm telling you the truth from the depth of my heart. When you find God, you find wealth. When you find God, you find relevance. When you find God, you find everything. Are we together? Yes. My first challenge for us as we attempt to build this series is return to the place where you seek God. Write this down. What is an encounter? An encounter is not necessarily a vision. An encounter is not necessarily a, a supernatural transportation to the realm of heaven. That's not what I'm talking about necessarily. An encounter, listen, is an experience you have with God that furnishes the reality of his person. The reality. An encounter is God making himself real to you. Revealing his presence to you. Whether in, a, in the secret place. Whether as you labor in the study of the word. 
Are we together? People who were non-Christians, when they got born again in two weeks, because of the atmosphere of encounter, their lives changed. That's why people like Mama came. And you see what God is doing with him. Today he has become a great and mighty man of God. Encounters. Are we together? Pregnant women had testimonies that while teaching was going on, their children would just keep quiet. No movement, no pushing. Until it was time for prayers. Let me tell us the truth. There is too much distraction. This is what stops the voice of God. This is what stops a lot of things. We are distracted. I'm not necessarily talking, of, when I talk of distraction, I'm not necessarily talking of maybe immorality like drunkenness necessarily. We are distracted looking for things around God and not himself. We are studying the seven rivers of power. Why not study him as a person? We pride ourselves at these things. So you find out that people mock themselves with messages. We come and preach messages we do not have the experience to defend. Is God speaking to us? Please, if you're a pastor here or you're in ministry, listen to me. Return to the place of encounter. That's your greatest publicity. Lead me, Lord, I will follow. Lead me, Lord, I will go. You have called me, and I will answer. Lead me, Lord, I will. Lead me, Lord, I will follow. Lead me, Lord, I will go. You have called me, and I will answer. to reveal his glory God desires listen he did not just save us to take us to heaven please I'd like you to pay attention to what I'm sharing with you God did not save us just so we can become Christians his intention was to make us revelations of his glory write that word glory down the word glory is from the Hebrew word kabod the Greek is doxa and the expression of the word glory is the essence of a man. Whatever makes that man who he is, his wealth, his wisdom, his intelligence, is called his glory. So God's desire, the eternal counsel of God, is that Christ becomes a reflection of the glory of the Father. The church, the ecclesia, in partnership with the Holy Spirit, now becomes the revelation of the glory of the Christ. Christ has reflected the glory of the Father in his death, burial, and resurrection, his exaltation. What is left right now is for the church to align so much with the Spirit that we become perfect reflectors of the glory of Christ. Another word for glory is the possibilities of a man. A man's glory is the extent of his possibilities. So God wants us to reveal the multifaceted dimensions of his possibilities. Glory can never be appreciated until it is revealed. Until it is revealed. Until it is made manifest. The word became flesh. Right? The word locked up in the realm of the spirit became flesh. And dwelt among men, he says, and we beheld his glory. God desires for his glory to be seen. He desires for his multifaceted dimension to find expression in every territory. 
But that dimension, the conduits, the custodians of the glory of God are not things, not handkerchiefs, not Goya oils, human beings. Are we together? God's predeterminate counsel is for every one of us under the sound of my voice to become perfect reflectors, manifestors of a divine life, a divine reality that transcends this realm. The glory of God is a revelation of everything that makes God, God. So when miracles happen, that's the glory of God finding expression. Are we together? Yeah. When signs and wonders happen, and some, in Isaiah 40, the Bible says that God desires, we were made for his glory, that all flesh will see it. But there is a pathway that brings the sons of light to glory. This is what I am teaching us. I really desire that our lives become limitless conduits, communicators of all the dimensions that can be in Christ. So when men look at you, you are half man and half something else because you are a communicator of a reality that is beyond this realm. Your life is supernatural in every way. Because you are functioning from a realm, a possibility and a reality. You are reflecting a man who is not limited. Only limited by our disalignment. Is God speaking to us? John chapter 2. The wedding in Cana. Let's look at verse 11. The Bible stated something very important there. Is God blessing us already? Tonight's teaching is going to challenge us. John 2, let's just look at verse 11. Everyone please read. One, to read. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and did what? Stop. Hold on. It says Jesus used miracles as a conduit to manifest his glory. When he performed these miracles, it was a turning of water to wine are we together now the bible says in doing that because he aligned to the father so much to an extent that the father could find expression through him to do an impossible thing he said he manifested forth his glory as a result people his disciples believed him let me translate this to you as a result the convictions of men over god became stronger you know why our convictions are very small there are very few dispensers of the glory of God are we together there are very few people who are truly prototypes of the possibilities that can be in God you see the wisdom of men like ordinary people their intelligence like ordinary people what everybody is crying about is what you cry about there is nothing supernatural about your life you are not a dispenser of the glory your words are empty, as empty as any philosopher's words. No backing, no authority, no power, no government, no throne. Nothing backs you. This beginning of miracles, he said, did Jesus, just verse 11. And he said, he manifested his glory. And as a result, the disciples believed. They believed. The essence of the faith life is not just to go to heaven. The essence of the faith life is not just to capture us from sin to become heaven bound. God's ultimate desire that will never change is that he will find a people who can be an expression of all that Christ is. It is God's desire that his multifaceted possibilities, all the dimensions that make him God, he wants it to find expression here. His healing, his wealth, his miracles, the possibilities, everything. So Christ is our model. The same way Christ aligned to reflect the glory of the Father. Right? In John 17, don't turn there, we'll turn there later on. Jesus was speaking and he said, Father, he said, now glorify thy son. To the end that thy son will glorify you by reflecting your glory. In theology, we call it the reflection principle. 
where you reflect the glory of your superior and the one below you is the one who reflects your glory you never reflect your glory you reflect the glory of the one you submit to so jesus reflects the glory of the father the church reflects the glory of the son the systems reflect the glory of the church this is the eternal counsel of god but there is something wrong because our understanding does not permit God to go with us to that extent where he can reflect his glory to us. So there is little of healing, little of prosperity, little of alignment, little of result from prayer, little in a congregation of 5,000 people, you have two testimonies. It's a shame to the revelation of the glory of God. I know we clap about it and we thank God, but honestly, it is a shame. Are we together? God's glory cries for expression. He wants everything that he is to find expression through our lives. But the question is, are you willing to let your life become a conduit of that glory? Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. When there was a storm, everybody waited for the arrival of Jesus because his arrival was a revelation of the kingdom. The kingdom had come right when he stepped into a house they knew there was a miracle who what do we expect when you show up trouble blessings if i shake your hand pastor femi come please if pastor femi shakes my hand should something not change in my life but does it happen you see the reason why they don't value your shake because it never produced any result. The last time you prayed for somebody, they begged you and said, pray for me. You prayed and nothing happened. You met them after a long time. You said, any result? You said, absolutely nothing. I don't know what you did to me, but from that prayer, my life just knows dive. There is no manifestation of the glory. There is an extent of glory by the grace of God that we have been able to manifest. And this is what is responsible for everyone coming to sit down. You are coming to behold a dimension of the glory are we together when there are healings there are miracles when the word of god comes and its power to transform it is a revelation of glory when a barren woman all of a sudden gets healed is a revelation of a dimension of god when you master the laws of kingdom wealth and in an economy that is nose diving your life is rising up like the ark of noah something is different about your life that's the revelation of the glory of God. The idea is not just heaven. The idea is a flawless life based on our alignment to the Christ. Is God speaking to us? Jesus is the revelation of the Father's glory. And the church was designed to be the revelation of the glory of the Christ here on earth. The ecclesia, the church, the Catholic church, the universal church. We were designed by God to be the reflectors. In other words, anytime people need to see Jesus, they should look for a Christian. Did you know that our presence should stop the frustration in the earth? Because we are the representatives of the government of Christ. So in every territory, when there is any challenge, when somebody sees a Jimmy, they say, thank God. What dimension of the glory of God has been committed to him? They are sure that that dimension will be dispensed and there will be solutions. But we are largely part of the problem in the earth. And this is why our voices are not heard as the church of God. We are part of the many world's religions. Nothing supernatural about our lives. They shake you. Somebody sleeps on the same bed with you. Demons oppress him the way they have been oppressing him from his room before he came. There is no presence of the divine life. There is no presence of an atmosphere. Oh, come on. No, it should never happen that way. The Bible says there is this treasure. Where? Not in heaven. In earthen vessels. There is this treasure in earthen vessels. Carriers of the divine life communicating something very deep 
and very spiritual that is who you are if you think you are just a christian who is should just be planted you know to a church taking communion on sunday praying during prayer meetings you will short circuit your understanding and the revelation of christ in you everyone say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus my life must reflect the glory the power the wisdom the life the possibilities of christ jesus yes when people are stranded the moment you show up you bring a reality your speakings right it says my heart is indicting a good matter yea i speak of excellent things it says my tongue is the pen of a ready writer so that when you come up and you begin to speak i never expect to speak and you say wow that was an interesting contribution no because i'm speaking by the spirit are we together yes this is the foundation of true spiritual growth the rewards of an encounter with christ the glory of god finds greater space in and through your life you become a blessing everybody wants to be around you because that's what happened to jesus christ they don't have to know you let me tell you one way you know the glory of god is on you you become what the bible calls delightsome have you heard that word delightsome delightsome does not mean beautiful and men are following you for marriage or or you have money in your pocket and ladies want you to marry them into a life of peace that's not what i'm talking about that there is something on your life it's magnetic people come to sit down close to you and say i don't know why i've never shared this with anybody but there is a challenge in my life there is the glory of god dogs are a revelation of his person in you this series is meant to uh, to not just challenge you but also activate something in your life are we together say i'm a dispenser of the glory of god say one more time i'm a dispenser of the glory of god john 11 verse 40 jesus said something remarkable that was the story of the resurrection of lazarus from the dead john 11 let's look at verse 40 please read it together everyone is projected for time's sake one to read jesus said unto her said i not unto thee that if thou would believe thou should what if thou will believe the key to experiencing the glory of god in your life is your conviction do you believe do you believe that you can see jesus said it himself he said if you can believe nothing will stop you from seeing my glory you can see my glory in prayer you can see my glory in signs and wonders if you believe the word believe is a very interesting word because it's not just the word agree it's the word conviction you can it's not just an awareness like i agree with you but i am persuaded about this reality pastor femi is a pastor of rema i am persuaded i'm not trying to agree i i know it is true and nobody can convince me otherwise that's what it means to believe faith now becomes the action you take based on that conviction are we together jesus himself said if you believe you will see the glory of god so if i believe my body can become a superconductor of the anointing and the presence of god and the same way brothers and sisters if i have tuberculosis and i come close to a jimmy what will happen to him please answer me what will happen to him we call them communicable diseases right because they can be transferred it's not whether he agrees with me or not i am a carrier of that disease he just needs to come to the atmosphere and he's implicated he gets tuberculosis are we together that means i can carry divine health and come close to him I've not prayed for him and make it communicable i can carry divine wisdom are we together 
and you come and greet me we talk for five minutes you live with a level of intelligence you cannot account for i'm not just talking of praying for people i'm talking of them being implicated by the atmosphere you have created your alignment has created an atmosphere that does not leave people the same so someone does not even know he's sick it is your atmosphere that shows him he's sick when he comes he leaves and says my goodness so this thing i've been carrying is pain i thought everybody has it Hi. are we together yes ago one gentleman was helping me wash my clothes he was so happy he just soaked the clothes as soon as he soaked the clothes we lift it up that's how the power of god just carried him that was the end of that washing for a very long time the bible says handkerchiefs right you believe that acts 19 handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the body of peter handkerchiefs and aprons it's not this thing we do in church where we just call people out and wave handkerchief mm -mm, solve problems solve real life problems if you can wave it like that then speak over the person's financial crisis bring it to an end that's authority that's a sign that there is a government that backs you so someone comes and tells you 11 years we've been barring you say it doesn't matter they say why because triplets are coming are you getting the point oh you can be that confident that's how to become a blessing to people and so they say please how can we locate mama because they know that their own is just to find where you are when they find you even if you are passing when prophet samuel met saul he said come inside and i will show you everything in your heart that's a dispenser of a reality when people are sick and they see you do they get excited or do they just thank you for visiting and grieving with them? Are we together? Listen, we must rise from the realm of counseling to miracles, to results. Don't just counsel people. It's all right. We live in a generation where who doesn't know times are hard? To a point where when people see you, they said, you prayed for me, Jimmy. I don't know what you said. But from Monday till Sunday, I was receiving testimonies of financial breakthrough. As it was happening to me, it was happening to my mother. Please, I've come again. Men are implicated because of the atmosphere you carry. Please hear me, I'm not motivating you. These are realities that God wants you to walk in. This is how you become the light of the world. It's not just by talking and saying I'm a Christian. You know why our, our worth in Christ is very small as far as people interpret it? Because we pray so much, but our result is very little. Hallelujah. That's why we share testimonies. These testimonies are a revelation of what the glory of God has done in the lives of people. There are certain possibilities that is granted us access to and they have produced results in the lives of people. So you see incurable disease is going by another possibility. Say after me, all things are possible. Say it, all things are possible. But not for everyone. Yes, you must agree with this. All things are not possible for everyone. Your possibility is a measure of the glory of God that can find expression in you. Are we together? That is why encounter is so important. Because encounter is the spiritual activity that truly builds faith in you. Listen, faith comes by hearing. Do you hear what you read? Answer me please. Do you hear what you read? When I read the Bible, do I hear anything? That means beyond this reading. There is a reality that should find expression in my spirit. Mama, come and collect phone. Did you hear me? So it's not that you were rebellious. If I'm talking and you didn't hear me, will you just stand up and come? So many people say, I don't know if I had God or not. You didn't hear. Are we together? Because his voice is louder than the voice of every devil. And you can come and collect it. Mama, and give me this phone. You had it. This happens in the place of encounter. 
you don't roam around this noisy valley of this world and expect to hear God with clarity your landlord is making noise your village is making noise wickedness making noise carnality is making noise you won't hear him that way brothers and sisters are we together I really am challenging us another thing that I think is responsible for people not paying attention to God is we have this idea that paying attention to God is a waste of time in terms of achieving our destiny I don't know who deceived us with that understanding that please come two of us start out on a spiritual journey look at me everyone two of us start out on a spiritual journey are we together and then this guy keeps moving just move slowly right and then i feel i am behind because that guy wants to start a church he wants to marry he wants to move forward he wants to do this and you are here with god we call this delay we call this waste of time and sometimes you say god honestly this you're always talking to me i don't want you to waste my time let me tell you the thing with god when he's done with you you will not walk that's the thing no the bible says immediately jesus entered the boat they were at the other side no process immediately as soon as he entered the boat they appeared there that's the god of all flesh so there are people who started their journey they didn't wait to find out from god what are the rules of the engagement they just got up i must make it my share in this life what is my own is my own and all these foolish things we keep talking and they have marked time somewhere in life with six children now whereas somebody who they were looking at as wasting time now he's walking on the wings of the spirit moving as if satan does not exist because he stayed to master the art of war before he started moving it pays to stay with god the fastest way to make impact is to stay with god not to look for endorsement not to print invitation cards and say jimmy invite me i'm a very intelligent entrepreneur invite me Koinonia, give me the mic. Let me lead praise and worship once. And even you, you will know that Kai, God has children. No. We will never give you mic in Jesus' name. Because it means you are deficient in training. Listen, never be ashamed if others go and leave you. You are actually running. You don't know. Elijah told Ahab, saddle your ass and go. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. And then instead of him to run too, he waited. And the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon him. He guarded his loins and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel. Do you want to stay with God and let him file you and you get up and move in power? Or do you want to join this rat race people are doing in life? They take two steps and mark time there. So there is a pile of people who started their journey but cannot move because they do not understand the art of the war. I make up my mind to wait. I make up my mind to wait. Are we together? So that by the time I start moving, I will move at a speed and at a pace that will grant me capacity to do much for the kingdom. Moses! was about to move but he said lord do not send me i know that the people need to get to the promised land but i'm also aware that there are all kinds of obstacles lord don't send me i have questions to ask you i like moses moses asked god questions the same thing gideon did gideon said you are sending me to go and defeat the midianites oh lord you are king but i'm a man let me ask you intelligent questions prove to me oh Look, stay in the secret place and ask God every question. What happens when my finances dry up as a man of God? God, give me the secret now. Not when it happens there. What happens when somebody is about to crash under the hands of the enemy and I cannot see it? And he shows you the mystery. When you take them like keys, you can tell the gate of destiny be opened. And the moment you start moving, you move like a general in the kingdom. When others stand, there is a strategy that you can find expression. We will wait.
upon the Lord. For in His presence there's fullness of joy and our strength shall be restored as we wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen. I'll share with you just one key tonight. The key I want to share with you I'll share with you many other keys. When you want to grow spiritually and become a reflector, the first key is death. John 12. John 12. Let's read 23 and 24. John 12. God is raising mighty and powerful people in this place. John 12. Now watch this. There is a relationship between death and glory. Please look at me. Never forget what I told you. There is a relationship in the realm of the spirit, in the realm of power, in the realm of impact, in the realm where men do business with God. There is a relationship between death and glory. Years ago, a lady met me and shared with me a dream. And that dream was going to launch her into a season of dealings with God. And I knew it was not going to be an easy time for her. But I spoke with her, I told her, grace for you. And the next two years or so of that lady's life would be times of intense pruning and testing and maturing. But after that time, God brought a vessel that was worthy of honor. The Bible says, Jesus, not an angel, answered them saying, the hour is come that the son of man should be what? So we're talking about glorification. The time has come for you people to know how powerful my father is. The time has come for all of you to see the multifaceted dimensions of the might of Yahweh. You've heard about him. Your father's told you. You are about to see it now. Next verse. But for this to happen... He said, verily, verily, I say unto you. This is the mystery that will make me glorified. Except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and faints and goes through coma and dies. He said, it abides alone, unprofitable. He says, but if it dies, it bringeth forth what? How do you produce much fruit in the kingdom? By your death. Hmm. Let me tell you, only dead men carry the glory. Only dead men carry the glory. What that means is you must come to a point where you die to your ambitions. You die to your aspirations. You die to your formulas. You die to the conditions you give God. Lord, I give you two weeks. If you don't bless me, you are not king of kings. Uh -uh. Two weeks will pass, you will not be blessed. You will say, okay, God, I give you one month. I've extended it for you. As if you are, you are giving God grace. And at the end of it, you say, Lord, you know what? Even if it's in ten years, you don't bless me. I love you. You have died. You have died to those conditions you give God. Lord, I'm sweeping your church. You better be looking at me. Wipe my tears as I'm wiping the tears in your own house too. That is true. But if that is the reason why you are sweeping the church, you are wasting your time. Are we together? Death means losing. Nothing around your life controls your passion for God. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not money. Not lack of it. Not fame, not lack of it. Not ministry, not lack of it. You come to a point in your life where he is all in all. That's death. It doesn't mean physical death. But let me tell you, it can be painful. Because the process in the spirit with which a man relinquishes his will is very hard. No man gives it to God just like that. You can only give God permission to take it. For you are God alone From before time began 
You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, through the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Let me tell you something. There are many ways to know a spiritual man. Prayer and tongues and rema are the foundational ways to know a man of God or a man of the spirit. The chiefest way to know a man of the spirit is through his cars. The testament of his sacrifice. The testament of his handing over the management of his life to God. How he trusted God for certain things and they did not happen. And he still said, Lord, you are glorified. That's spirituality. Not preaching. Are we together? You frustrate Satan. You've heard me say this. There is no way I know in terms of its, its highest level of impact to frustrate Satan than to give God glory in the midst of your pain. Lord, you seem so far away A million miles on what it seems today And though I haven't lost my faith I must confess right now That it's hard for me to pray That's somebody's condition in this place listening to me But I don't know what to say I don't know where to start but as you give the grace With all that's in my heart I will sing And I will praise Even in my darkest heart Through the sorrow and the pain I will sing Sing it from your heart I will pray Regardless of what is around me I lift my hands to honor you. Because One more time. Help me. I will sing. I will sing. That's how spiritual men are made. I will pray. They defy circumstances. Their love for God is not tied to anything. Through the sorrow and the pain, I will sing. And I will pray. I, will I may pray. cry, but I will still pray. I lift my hands to honor you Because your word is true I will see Hear me You don't become a spiritual man When Mike is given to you You become a spiritual man When you can look at someone You trusted God for their healing And they died And you say Lord I'm standing in front of this grave And you are still God You challenge Satan Are we together? You expected five points. You went to the board and you saw four carryovers. And you know you must try an extra session. And you say, Lord, I won't pretend. I know I prayed. But Lord, I want you to know that you have won my heart. I'm too addicted. This is too small a reason to come in between me and you. And you're, you are promoted in the spirit. Because that is your death. God is saying, who is this that is calling on me? He said, gather unto me my saints. Psalm 50 verse 5. They that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let me show you how God brought us to where we are. It was never a thing of hoping for results. There was no other plan B. I never had plan B with God. If it doesn't go well with him, let me just die there. I like Esther. She said, if I perish... Let me tell you, many of us have plan B. There's one leg in God, but you are hooking the other leg in case God disappoints you. If you do not bless me, let the world laugh at me. If koinonia does not grow, let us remain a subject of mockery. But it will never, never, ever. See, change this your anger and annoyance over God Lord I trust you I've been serving in your house if I uh, 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 uh. spiritual men never get angry with God there are men who have died when you come to a dead man watch this when you are removing the trouser of a dead man will he get up and say stop huh? when you are removing the money in his pocket no that's how to die 
if God says, son, I need your phone, you hand it over and say, where is it? All things, a man can have nothing except it is given to him. All this, our greedy lifestyle is a sign that we are alive in ourselves. That's why we never see the attention of God. Listen, whether God keeps his anointing in heaven or in you, he's comfortable because it's still the same thing to him. You are that yielded. It's like two stores of a man. You know how people do business. They can tell you, I have a branch in Kaduna, I have a branch in Lagos. Any one of them will give you the same result. Can God say, I have this grace in heaven, but I still have one on the earth. Go and meet that person. You will get the same result. As though you were praying to me, because he's that aligned. Death. One of the most painful, but most powerful keys of carrying the glory. You can jack yourself and claim, I have the glory. You will waste your time until a corn of wheat falls down and dies. Brothers and sisters, hear me. I tell you the truth and I lie not. There is nothing God makes a demand of in my life that I cannot give him. Ask him. You don't want to know the things God has demanded in my life. Anything you cannot give God is the reason why you will not host his glory at that level. If God tells me, give me koinonia, I will pack it up like a cloth, put it in a nylon bag and hand it over to God. Immediately, not after a meeting, immediately. If he tells me this is the last time you should be preaching, all the ministrations will be cancelled with an apology. You know why many of us die? We are the ones responsible for everything in our lives. So we die. He says, come unto me, all ye that are what? Weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Everybody say death. Say it. There are many people's training in the body of Christ. We don't teach people the mystery of death. And then they expect glory. The Bible talks of the sufferings of Christ. And the glory that should follow. Are we together? Yes. Romans chapter 8 please. From verse 18 and 19. For I reckon that the what? The constraints. That's what we call it. Let me be a sacrifice. What's the other part of that song? Just that part. My life to worship you. Just sing that part for me. That's the song in my spirit. That's the scripture here. Let this be a sacrifice. Let me dedicate my life to worship. Where you become a living sacrifice. It says, listen, hold on. For I reckon, I come to terms. There is no other way. You can choose your way. The prison is full of people who chose their own methods to life. Are we together? They chose to jump fence. They chose to point guns at people. That was their way. The Bible said there is a way that seemeth right. There is a way. It may be popular, but it's wrong. Let me tell you, the way of the throne is the cross. You will never get to the throne until you go through the cross. I know this is not an attractive message. Don't allow people fool you. The cross is the way to the throne. There is something that happens to you at the cross that qualifies you for the throne. The way to the throne is when you face Goliath. He does something to you. Whenever you pray for a throne, Goliath is coming. Until you qualify, you will not sit on that throne. I speak to you a mystery that makes men careers of power. When you speak, it's as if heaven owes you a debt they must pay. Not everyone, listen, the centurion said, for I am a man under authority. He said, I say unto one, go. I say unto one, come. Death. Not Rema. Not Greek word. Not Logos. Not Kairos. Not Kronos. Uh -uh. None of those things will replace true fire. The secret place. Where there is a testimony of death. Galatians 2.20, please. 
He said, for I am crucified with Christ. That's the realm. You have died to your ambitions. You have died to your aspirations. Whether you call me Pastor Josh, Prophet Josh, Apostle Josh, whatever. No longer do you have that appetite to do anything that is outside of God. Your life revolves around His will. His wish is literally your command. He says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Then he says, yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. Then he says, and this life that I live in the flesh that is the body, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Not faith in the Son of God. The very faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Have you gotten to that point where you are dead to yourself? Look, you will not lay hands on the sick and say, be healed. I'm a Christian. Jesus died for me. Be healed. We keep mocking ourselves before demons. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. I see the scars in them. I see them pass through the cross. But he said, who are you? You just jump from nowhere and think because your father is a priest, a priest that looks like a herbalist, do you inherit that? No. Listen, not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. Everything is given, but not as gifts. There are some things that are given as rewards. Unto us a son is born, but unto us, unto us a child is born, but unto us a son is given. And the government will rest upon the shoulder of the son. A symbol of authority. Are we together? He says, an heir as long as he's a child, differeth not from a slave, though he be lord of all, but is under tutors and governors. God is challenging us tonight. Right? Anointed to reveal his glory. In the course of the series, I'm going to be teaching you something powerful about the anointing. I tell you, your life will catch fire. It's time for us to step into greater levels. There is so much God wants to do with us. Give him space. Koinonia, give him space. God wants to find expression. Let me tell you something. When you get to a point where you can speak over a man's life and change his destiny, you are really powerful. You are really powerful. Where you can use words to veto the limitations in men's lives. Who is this? That the winds and the waves obey him. He didn't carry cane. Michael, where are you? This wind is stubborn. He stood and said, Shalom. Shalom. The centurion said, Uh uh. I look at you and you are not representing yourself. You are under authority. You are a reflector of the glory of the Father. Huh? I am also a man under authority. I know how powerful my government is. On the strength of that power, I can tell one, go, and he will go. When you tell things, go, and they don't go, they are sending a message to you that you must admit. If you tell sickness, go, and it does not go, it is speaking back to you. Where is your authorization? Like passport, you are traveling out. You smuggled your way, and this custom stopped you somewhere. Are we together? You put your clothes in a bag with, with clothes and as you are smuggling yourself out, they trap you. What is the question they are going to ask you? They are not going to ask you your name. What is your passport? Your symbol of authorization. What gives you access to move from one dimension to the other? And if they cross check and find out that you are an illegal person, what happens? They deport you. You are not even there yet, but they send you back. Even if you cross over to another country, one day when they catch you there, what did they do? They, that's, there are many people being deported in this season because they never went there correctly. They used some manipulations and they jumped and experienced power for two weeks. That's why you think they are using charm. It's not charm. They didn't follow the right path. So they must be sent back. The thing that makes me fear God is that even if you are 20 years, the day you decide to walk with him, you will go back and start correctly. God doesn't do double promotion. You pass through every class one by one and write every exam. In God's class, 90 over 100 is not A. Everything he teaches is necessary for your future. It's not like the way we are, you can get here and go. 
in God's class, you, you will clap for you for the ones you have passed, but you will rewrite the exams till you pass there. That's why 40 days became 40 years until they passed every course he was teaching them. Are we together? We are going to pray tonight. I'll stop here and we are going to pray. God has been speaking to me about the things that he wants to do. This is our year of multiplied um, grace and influence. Hallelujah. God wants to reveal greater glory. You already seen it happening in the testimonies and the rest. But you see, any true man of God does not want to rise alone. Are we together? We must all rise together. Where our words become like the words of God. The Bible says the words of Samuel was like the word of God. When he spoke, none of his word fell to the ground. What a man. What a man. There are some of our family members right now. We are the only reflectors of the glory of Christ as far as they are concerned. Are we together? We left many of our loved ones and some of them are practically on their way to perishing in every wise. Sickness, finances, spiritually. But God tonight wants to anoint you and through this series he's going to be guiding you. Are we together? So that he will anoint you. I trust God that by miracle service this month, some people would have entered some strange dimensions. Strange spiritual dimensions. You can know something has entered your hand. All this acting, we keep acting. Do you know I'm anointed? No, you are not. It should be very clear. The anointing is like light. There is light here. If you ever have to ask one person, do you know I'm anointed? I'm telling you, it's not there. Oh, it should be very clear. As clear as light is from darkness. Tonight, we are going to pray. But before we pray, I want you to admit that you have limited the reflection of the glory in your life in many ways there are so many possibilities we should have entered as men of God as individuals are we together so it's very important close your eyes in one minute before we pray I see the presence of God strong already here I want you to just reflect in one minute on what I've said. Is my life giving God room to manifest His glory? How have I brought shame and disappointment to the name of God because I have bragged being a Christian. I've stood near sick people and nothing has happened. I prayed in my family. They have been mocking God. They've been mocking Koinonia. I dared them, but I prayed and nothing happened. pray Lord things must change my Christian life has been barren for too long I need an encounter a true encounter I'm tired of faking it I need something solid Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in my life. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in my life. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in my life.
more time shalom and then we'll pray shalom shalom jehovah shalom shalom you're welcome in my life welcome the new dimensions in god If you do not allow the glory of God find expression in your life, somebody is going to die because of it. A day will come you will meet a sick person and there is no Joshua Selman. There is no Koinonia. A day will come you will be desiring certain dimensions of his power. A day will come you will be desiring certain dimensions. I'm here to charge you. As you begin to pray, certain things will begin to shift in your life. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Just pray in tongues. Kabata shabalarabalaba. Shabra kata baradus. Shepre kata ne barapata. Reflect us of the glory, careers of a reality. Shaba barata barada balada bagada. Shepre kete barada balada ba. Rekete brava bada bala ba. My life must be a conduit. My life must be a reflection of your possibilities. My life must be a reflection of your wisdom, your power, your wealth, your might, your intelligence. My life must be supernatural in every sense. Make sure you're praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I need power in my life. I'm tired of a natural life. I know there is a dimension of power, true spiritual power that can land upon my life and make the difference. Lift your voice and cry. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Cry for power. Scatter lato shake. There are giants on every mountain. It takes power to move mountains. It takes power to move mountains. Spiritual power. Spiritual power. Spiritual power. The unction. The unction from the Almighty that makes you supernatural. The unction. Shabarata kata prega de bala bosh. Cry, Lord, a release of power, like the dew of heaven. I need power in my life. My life is too natural. 
My words are too natural. My business is too natural. My family is too natural. I cry for the supernatural dimension of my success. The supernatural dimension. I invoke the supernatural dimension of the equation of my life. Hallelujah. Was he praying? Listen, listen, guys, listen. The Bible says, Know ye not that your body, not just your spirit, your God has been mocked too many times. There's no power in our lives. No, no. You pray for the sick, nothing happens. You speak, your words are empty. We keep mocking ourselves. God is going to touch somebody here. Now, now, all those things, we, we fool ourselves. Listen, we are going to cry. There is spiritual power, authentic unction from the throne. It can land on a man's life. It can land on a lady's life. And the difference becomes clear. The anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. Lift your voice and cry. Lord for power. Lord for power. Lord for power. Unction. Unction. Grace. Unction. Let my prayers command results. Unction. Let my words carry power, carry change. Pray. Send it, oh God, like the dew from heaven. Send it, oh God, upon my life. Pray. I'm tired of an ordinary life. I'm tired of an ordinary life. That supernatural dimension. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and then we're done. Be sensitive now. The anointing of the Spirit is going to begin to fall on people. I believe that God is going to be activating things. It's a series. So we're still praying. But I want you to pray. Listen. Listen. We are going to pray. It's one thing to be gifted, but it's another thing for that gift to be anointed. It's one thing to be graced. Even your grace needs to be anointed. Brothers and sisters, we will mock ourselves if we keep on this path. I cannot live a life without power. A powerless life. Everything ordinary. Everything. Your words are ordinary. Everything happens in your life. There is no supply of intelligence beyond the intellect. It's a terrible life. We are going to pray now. Are we together? As you pray, I'm agreeing with you. The angels of God are going to be walking around and doing things in the lives of people. Please, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, the dimension of power that must land upon my life, let it begin to land. Lift your voice and pray. Be sensitive as you pray. Mighty impartations will begin to happen as you pray. Shapatakata. Fire from heaven. Land upon our lives. Unction from the throne. Oh, receive it. It's coming on you like fire. Like fire, like fire. Kapara toskaba, embreke te 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 te, reke te te kotos. Pray, 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 pray. An unction, spiritual power for results, power for impact, power. Lord, I'm tired. Tired 
of an ordinary Christian life. I'm tired of just being a follower of a religion. I am tired. I need power from heaven in my life. He said, you shall receive power. You shall receive power. You shall receive power and unction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. When the power of the Holy Ghost is not upon your life, your Christian life will be frustrating. You will hardly get results. It will be a life of struggle. Struggle over everything. You will knock on doors for ages before it opens. But there is an unction. God never designed that we live ordinarily. He said there is this treasure. You are in every way spiritual. The last prayer point, and then I'll pray for us. Listen. Listen. You are going to pray and say, Lord, from my head to my toe, may it be saturated with the power of the living God. Let me be a literal walking bank of power. Come on, Koinonia, are you praying? Lift your voice and pray. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, power power in the morning power 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 kapara takata in my sleep power on my bed the power of the holy ghost as i speak a release of power pray lord i need power in my business I need power in my academics I need power power to conquer power to break forth power to buy power to lose power to set the pace power to subdue darkness power to subdue witches and wizards power to subdue wicked men power to prevail over wicked systems fill me up till I overflow I want to run over, I want to run over, fill me up, till I overflow, I want to run over, fill me up, it's a prayer in your life, till I overflow. your hands I want to pray for you all through this series I'll be ending with prayers honestly I want something to land on your life something that separates you something that sets you apart there is an unction a man can carry there is an unction we all need whether you are inside, outside, those online, participate. There's no distance in the spirit. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. And I want you to receive it with your heart. Honestly, I want something to come on your life. All through this week, after every teaching session, 
I, I want to jack your spirit back. Dispensers of authentic power that you have an unction that cannot be denied. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names, I pray. Everyone inside here and in any of the overflows and all those following us, as I stretch my hands right now, in the next one to two minutes, there will be such an impartation. Father, all kinds of graces, choose it by yourself. But right now, I stand under this anointing. Receive that impartation everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Let God locate men. Unction, unction. Release of spiritual power upon your ministry. Power upon your academics. Power upon your spiritual life. Power upon your prayer life. Shaka ta ta ta. It's coming on people inside and outside. Power upon your words. Power upon your business power upon your marriage power upon your body power upon every challenge in your life I pray for you where things happen in your life at a natural frequency let there be a transportation right now as i speak be carried in the wings of the spirit right now right now let the spirit of god take men take men be carried right now be carried by the wings of the holy ghost be carried by the wings of the holy ghost to a realm where you fly when others are walking be carried to a realm of encounters a realm of visions I open your eyes. I open your eyes. Visions, 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 visions. Hallelujah. points lord give me a miracle and get glory out of it lift your voice and pray give me a miracle and let the miracle be an opportunity for you to get glory out of my life let my healing tonight be an opportunity for your name to be lifted let my deliverance tonight be an opportunity for you to be lifted. Waymaker, open a door for me for the sake of your glory. And the struggles in my life. Here is an opportunity for you to be glorified. Are you praying inside, outside? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. You can vow your way into a miracle. 
by saying lord i vow that if you give me a miracle i will not be silent with it let me tell you these are the kinds of prayers that god wants not a testimony that you brag around and make noise for yourself you can vow your way into breakthrough and say lord change my story and i must stand before your people to testify lift your voice and pray yes lord yes lord wipe my tears and take the glory let them that have mocked your grace upon my life be put to shame through this testimony Awesome God, how great Thou art! You alone, mighty are Your miracles. Stand in awe of Your holiness, Lord. We bow and You alone, you alone, mighty are your miracles, mighty are your miracles, send it all of your hope. Before we begin to minister, please bring out your prayer request and hold it. We are going to pray for five minutes. If you have not written one, you can write one. Bring out your prayer request. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. We are going to pray. Let me tell you something. We have seen dramatic breakthroughs. It's a revelation that God gave. We are not just writing requests for nothing. People's destinies have changed. God has wiped the tears of families and individuals. hallelujah i'd like you to hold your prayer request and in one minute cry and say lord everything everything written must be turned to a testimony not some lord i thank you thank you thank you Kaparatokata. thank you it's not too late to write those following online make sure you have your request he said, make your request known. Make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Lord, everything. 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 Kappa, ta, ta, ta. One by one. One by one. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, one by one, by the unction, the anointing that is in this house tonight.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please keep it down. And lift your voice and everything you do not want to see in your life. Begin to release it to leave you right now. Before we pray. Everything. Everything. Everything you are tired of seeing in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Expect to be healed. Expect to be delivered. Let me tell you something. Deliverance is very powerful when it is done scripturally and is done biblically because it's a separation between men and the forces that cause their problems. There are forces that are responsible for the problems, the challenges in people's lives. There are, there are forces. There are forces. And in a few minutes from now, we are going to begin to pray. I tell you, fire will burn in this place. Fire will burn in this place. And no devil will be able to stand. There are people whose lives must change. That's why we came. That's why we came. That's why we came. That's why we came. One more prayer point and I'll begin to minister. Every spirit responsible for my pain, you are under arrest tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Every spirit. Every spirit responsible for my failures, responsible for the limitation in my life. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everybody. Don't say anything, just lift your hands. Please, everybody, if you can. If you, if you are doing something that doesn't allow you, that's all right. But please lift your hand. Don't allow the devil cheat you in this time, please. Don't allow the devil cheat you. When you hear me ministry, minister like this, is because I'm under the anointing of the Spirit. These are not things I'm doing of my own accord. It is the foolishness of spiritual things that produce results. Keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. The first set of people that God will step into right now are people that God is breaking. I'm seeing, I'm seeing God break delay. I'm seeing chains on people's legs. And the Lord said, just lift your hands and he will locate them by himself. So keep your hands up. Father, I have done what you have told me to do. Right now, inside and outside. Right now. Right now, inside and outside. I stretch my hands. Bring them out. Right now. Everyone whose feet has been chained. Kaparataka. Zekete repulsion. Barekete bo supaya. I unloose those chains now. I untie those chains now. I untie those chains right now. Bring them out. The second overflow. God is touching a lady so dramatically. Delay, 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 delay. You can't stand the anointing tonight. You can't stand the anointing tonight. Oh, there is grace in this house to challenge every altar of delay that has tied down the lives and the destinies of people. You must go forward. 
you must go forward you must go forward you must go forward it's time to move forward it's time to move forward <laughs> Keep your hands lifted. I'm seeing altars on fire. And the Lord said it belongs to families. Lord, where are the families? Right now. Right now. Let the fire of God locate them. Right now. Where are these families? I stand by this anointing. And I command everywhere across this building. Every family under the siege of witchcraft. Every family under the siege of witchcraft fire comes upon that altar fire comes upon that altar God is saving people right now. The power of the Holy Ghost is at work in this place. You can't be the same. You can't be the same. Hallelujah. Keep your hands down. God is doing a quick work. Only ladies, lift your hands. Only ladies, lift your hands. Please lift your hands. Ladies represent gates in the spirit. And there are destinies whose gates have been closed. Right now I'm about to speak. In the name of Jesus upon every lady here upon every lady here who the gate has been closed i command right now be open be open be open many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now sisters you represent gates 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 young and old young and old may those gates be open now may those gates be open now May those gates be open now. May those gates be open now. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. lift your hands the Lord is showing me something very I prayed about this in one miracle service there are people here whose destinies have been exchanged for others I pray right now wherever they are at least 40 people 40 people wherever they are right now I command a reversal I command a reversal. Fire, fire, fire falls upon people. Fire, every destiny that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. Every destiny that has been exchanged in the name of Jesus. Every load you are carrying that is not yours in the name of Jesus, it returns back to the sender. Everything must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. 
Alléluia. I tell you, miracles are happening here. Mighty, mighty miracles. Mighty miracles. Mighty miracles. All those out here, all the spirits tying down your destinies at the count of three, this is miracle service. They live now. I speak in the realm of the spirit. One, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out of them. Go forever. Release their destinies. Chains be broken. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. No spirit will hide today. The power of God is strong in this place to bring strange visitations. Lift your hands, everyone. There are men. It's not just that you are delayed. You are not even moving at all. I want to pray. And the prayer I'm praying now is an unction that will begin to move people forward. An unction that will begin to move people forward. But first, the strong man that has kept families down must be dislodged. Lift your hands. I pray right now. Whoever is under the influence of any spirit and any power that is causing any retrogression and non-progress. Right now as I pray, fire comes upon them. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside, take the fire now. Take the fire now. Take the fire now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone they brought here. I don't know if the person has a mental problem or is mad. Is there someone like that? There's someone they brought like a mental problem. Mad. A mad person. Where is the person? Bring the person. It's time for a miracle. This is a mad person. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You were the victor's crown. You were the crown. You were the crown. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You were the victor's crown. You were the crown. You were the crown. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a man that they brought here. It's like he has a problem walking very well. Is there someone like that? It's like he has a problem walking very well. A man, I don't know if there's pains or is that he cannot walk completely. Is there such a person, please? We have to hurry up. I want us to finish in good time. Is there such a person? Hold on. Let me just, is there such a person? Outside. He can't walk. He can't walk. He's paralyzed. Huh? What? Who brought him? Come, come quickly, please. What's the situation? What's the situation? Sir, it's as loud as you can. Joseph recent last week I visited him then at Kano with his wife, and they informed us in the village that 
He's paralyzed. This man is a policeman. You say policeman? No, we forget I'm seeing... his cardigan for from Kano. So we put okay. the he's a custom. I'm seeing him where okay. He's a custom officer. What's that's wrong that's... with him now? Presently now can he cannot... hear me? We can hear you, sir, boy. Okay. Look, have... look at me. Can you hear me? No, no, hold on. Can you hear me? Where are you from? Yeah, from Kano, sir. Kano, you yes. came from Kano. Yes, yeah, sir. Look at me, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, look at me. Since when could he not walk? Wife, come, please. This is your husband for how long? This is almost a month now. But the leg is just two weeks now. The legs is two weeks. Yes. It's okay. I'm seeing stroke. In the name of Jesus Christ, sir. Look at me. Look at me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? The first miracle is for him to hear what I'm saying. Something has affected his mind. He cannot even hear. Huh? He can't even talk. He can't hear. He can't talk. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that deaf and dumb spirit to leave you. To leave you. Sir, look at me. Look at me. Can you he hear how, sir? Huh? Look at me. Can you look at me? Try to move your legs. Can you? Can you try to move your legs? Can you try to do what I'm doing? Try to move your legs. Talk to him that I want to pray for him. Who is this? That's so Why are they here? Hold on, please. Uh, 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 uh. Let please. Only the case I call. Don't just. We are going to pray for people. What's wrong? What's wrong? This lady is mad. Yes. Since he, when? Yes. Yeah. Who knows you, madam? He, he, are, are you in Zaria here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Her case is mental. Now I started the the decision for hospital. Now the thing, the thing they they do. It's like epilepsy. It is like epilepsy, so it affected her brain. Yes. You can imagine. Hold my hands, Father. I command that spirit to leave. Mad spirit, go now. You will let this girl go. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her now. Out! Thank you, Jesus. Just lie her down. She's going to get up. Sir. I'm, I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing witchcraft because I'm looking at a man who is already dead not even that he's dying somebody that they've already killed he's already dead get a chair and keep him let him sit down and you pray what you guys will do is just try to talk to him I need him to hear what I'm saying because I want him to lift his leg can he see me madam you are his wife you will you will help us eh? and be talking to him give him a seat please so that we don't waste time daddy you're welcome sir from where sir What's the issue? Who brought him out? I came with my neighbors. What's the issue, sir? Okay, is the mic working? Is the mic working, Lawrence? His mic. Sir, can you hear me? I can hear Please you. come. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a problem. Um, have you gone to the hospital, sir? You've gone to the hospital. Yeah, I've gone to the hospital. Who has glaucoma? It's me. You. You are yes. the one who has glaucoma. Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing a writing on your head and it's yes. written glaucoma. Yes, sir. That you have glaucoma. Yes, sir. This problem started like eye problem. Yes, sir. Then it moved to your hands. Yes, sir. And now it's on your leg. Yes, sir. And it's like stroke. Yes, you will be healed right now. Amen. The Lord himself Amen. is going to perfect Amen. you. Amen. Daddy. Hold this mic. Shout say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. Declare. Now, now, stroke, stroke. Live my life. Live my life. Blindness. Blindness. Live my life. Live my life. Now, now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Please come name. up and jump. Come, come up, come up, come up. Go ahead. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. Come, walk.
also has an eye condition. Please look, sir. Can you see people? I can see people. Could you see them before? Yeah, but I can't recognize them. You can't recognize them. But now, can you recognize them? I can see them, but not fully recognition. Sir? Not fully recognition. No full recognition. The Lord has started something in his life. He could not, I mean, glaucoma and then down to stroke. You can see him still limping. Daddy, in the name of Jesus, you came with somebody. Where's the person? Who came with him? You are wearing a white scarf on your head. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Come. You are the one. Is this your father? No, sir. My neighbor. Your what? My neighbor. Oh, daddy, she's your neighbor. We are going to pray. And then God will bless you a thousand times. I'm going to pray for you. Daddy, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The power of the enemy. The power of the enemy. Over my life. Over my life. Will not die. Will not die. Be made whole right now in the name of Jesus. Please exercise yourself and go in your liberty. The Lord perfects your body in the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, I'm going to pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Help her, please, in the name of Jesus. How can a, a lady like this, planning her life like any other person, now this girl is mad. You look at this. This is real madness. It's not like it's a child's play. Eh? She came back from the office on Monday, then she started the She came back from the office she mad. Said, yeah. You see, let me tell you, look at this. It's one thing to leave your house quietly. The Bible says there are arrows. She came back from the office where? On Monday. And then I heard just, can you imagine? You got up and went to work and came back mad. This is the world we live in. Are we together now? Let me tell you, wickedness is very, 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 very real. Very real very real mama that woman in on yellow please come i don't know you but the lord is saying that your joy needs to be restored one two why am i seeing you there's a line between you and that lady with red this one holding your hands what is the relationship between two of you come my friend she's your friend you came together yes. i'm seeing a light left you and to her and then the lord is saying i should pray for you because it's the same thing two of you are going through we have to pray for you number one your joy your joy needs to be restored and then number two your health you are feeling pain in your stomach i have to pray for you so that they will tell you five Courage. words mm -hmm, madam let me talk to you now did you tell me miscarriage no. because i'm seeing something growing huh and it's paining you and this thing will make you to be bleeding unusually it's fibroid you are bleeding unusually and this thing is not just miscarriage because for the miscarriage a man appears to you in the night and once you see that man the next thing is you have miscarriage but we are going to pray madam can i pray for you where are you from ben benway ben, boy, stay in Zara. you stay in daraka let me pray for you madam the Lord needs to restore your joy because there are things I cannot say here but one of your major requests is the fruit of the womb is that true the fruit of the womb and I see you even praying that if possible let God give you twins yes sir is that true yes sir. and you are asking that the Lord will give you twins yes, sir. and I'm going to pray for you because those twins will pray that God will give Amen. You, to you. you believe it I'm not a herbalist Lay your hands on your stomach. We have to pray. There's a man that appears to you. This is demonic. In the name of Jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant, I set you free from all this nonsense around your life. In the name of Jesus. Ma, I pray for you. You desire children. God will not just give you children. May he give you twins. In the name of Jesus. And that formation of fibroid in your body, we cause it right now. You are feeling like fire is moving around your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, a supernatural miracle for you. In the name of Jesus, let me pray for you. Ah, you're not married. Are you married? Um, because I, I wanted to pray the same thing and the Holy Ghost is telling me you are not married, but you are about to marry. There's somebody in your life. He has engaged you. 
Eh? Is that true? Yes. Who is the person? Yes, is that true? You are engaged to marry. So I have to pray for you. Kai, my sister, don't be offended though. There's serious witchcraft in your family. I'm seeing this witchcraft coming from where is Otuko? In eh? Benue State. What do you have to do with Otuko? There's one of my own people, but me, I'm from Otuka. Mm -mm. Just answer what I'm telling you. What do you have to do with Otuko? Who is there? He's my uncle. Father, in the name of Jesus, your marriage will be successful. Look at me. I don't know how you do this, but don't allow them to do anything on you that is demonic in the name of marriage. I'm seeing something that has to do with you and a tree. Just, I don't know what I'm saying, but be careful. In the name of excitement of traditional marriage, they initiate people into nonsense and rubbish. I pray that the Lord will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Please lift your hands. I want to pray. Um, God wants to do a very spectacular miracle in this place right now. There is someone here you completely cannot see with your right eye completely cannot see with your right eye but a miracle is going to happen right now completely cannot see with your right eye wherever that person is in the name of jesus i command that you begin to see with that eye now i command that you begin to see with that eye now i command that you begin to see with that eye now please check yourself very quickly check yourself very quickly while we're doing that there are there are a number of people and when i pray for you if you get healed and you, and you, you find out that you're in that category just come out quickly let's save time i want to pray for people right now i'm seeing people who have been having severe pain around the chest region like your heart yes some of you when you wake up in the morning severe pain severe pain the lord is healing those people right now right now please check yourself and if you see a miracle run out here there is a miracle happening to somebody right now check yourself severe pain are along the heart region miracles are happening right now right now as i speak only those who are healed of this miracle make your way to the front i see a miracle happening to somebody right now make your way to the front celebrate them they are coming celebrate them they are coming jesus is touching people your chest i see a miracle around the heart region very quickly please save our time jesus is killing people right now koinonia is this how you celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles the chest area there is power power in the name of Jesus to break every chain break every chain hallelujah check it right now is there any pain is there any pain no, sir. Like, look at the boy he's even crying how long quickly just testify one minute quickly turn face the crowd quickly like, it's okay you don't have to cry up to more than four years the pain comes as if when I'm breathing. When you are breathing, you feel the pain. And right now, check it. Do what you couldn't do. Completely, no pain. In the name of Jesus, that miracle never returns to you again. Mama, any pain? Let's take a few tests. No pain. Completely. How long has it been? It has been there for years. For more than five three more than five years yes, please yes. check it now we want you to confirm look at this look at this completely the pain is gone the anointing is even on her help her please help her how long my dear please those who have been healed just come here quickly we'll give you some just turn face the crowd very quickly organize yourselves please ushers help them how long has it been what's your name and how long about three years ago how is the pain like what is describing for us very quickly? I Don't mean, worry, she's, she's after, just here. Be after patient. I eat, after I eat food, uh -huh. then I'll be strong. Then you'll chest. be struggling your chest. Is it? Is there pain now? Mm -hmm. Is there pain? Check it. Make sure you are telling the truth. 
If you lie, we'll clap for you, but you are the one who will suffer. Praise God. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. All of you, all of you healed of that pain. Lift your hands. Let me pray for all of you right now. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracle, it never returns. 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 Give Jesus praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus praise in the mighty name of Jesus. My goodness. I just saw a spectacular miracle in the realm of the spirit. There is someone here who has just been healed of pile. Please check it. I want you to come and testify. You will be very surprised. Pile has just been healed right now. Right now, supernaturally. Pile has been healed. Please, if you can check yourself, I would like you to check yourself. Let someone check you so that it is not a lie. Pile with intense pain. And God is healing that person right now. Check yourself, and when you check yourself, please let me have the person come forward, and then we'll come and testify, and God will give you a dramatic, dramatic, dramatic miracle. Pile, make sure you check, and let the person come out. In the name of Jesus. There is a lady at Overflow 2, not the first one, the other Overflow. Um, your name is Blessing. Your name is Blessing. Please, if there is such a lady like that, can you quickly run before we start ministering to cast out every devil and pray for the sick. God is touching people. Please, the person with pile, go and check yourself. A lady with the name Blessing. You are wearing white, white jack like sweater. Is there somebody like that? Blessing. Outside, overflow too. Where is she coming from? Please, always confirm. Where are you coming from? The other overflow. What's your name? Blessing. Where, is, where are you from? Hold my hands. God is going to give you a miracle and he's also delivering your family. Your family needs deliverance. Huh? Your family needs deliverance. Hold my hands. For God to have located you is because he loves you. Be set free right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm hearing the name of someone and you are my namesake. Your name is Joshua. You are outside. Please come in. You are outside. Come in. God is bringing deliverance to this lady and her family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A supernatural miracle. God is bringing deliverance for her family. They will never be the same. There are four of you that are supposed to be here with this name. Four of you. Please stand here, all of you. hallelujah i'm going to pray for you come god is going to use you huh god is going to use you mightily i'm going to pray for you my friend you you love god but god needs to help you huh do you hear how sir kajiko you have bad friends we are going to pray for you huh in the name of jesus sir look at me god is going to help you who is a trader in your family mother eh? my mother what does she trade my mother God wants to change her story. Amen. Hold my hands. You are going to start having strange revelations. And an anointing is going to come upon your life. Right? As I'm speaking to you now. An angel of the Lord. You will feel something like a crown being put on your head. It's a mantle. It doesn't mean you should just go and start ministry. But it's to tell you that God will use you very mightily. Father, confirm your word in his life never be the same in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ tell your mother that a prophecy has come for the family that God is about to lift the family are you hearing what I'm saying and you look like an ordinary person but you are going to hold a lot of money in your hand there is an unction there is grace for finances upon you there is grace for finances upon you where's a Jimmy please he's going to go let him lay his hands on you there's grace for finances that will come upon you and you will never be the same. I have to pray for you. You love God, but you are in here, you are out here, you have bad friends. Come, follow me. Your friends are not good people. Where are you? Where are you? You are in Samaru here? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You love God? Yes, sir. Is it too much of a price to leave your bad friends? It's too much. Ah. 
father in the name of jesus christ i pray because god wants to use you as a savior to your family are we together but you see hold on please let me talk to you if you really want to be great in life it doesn't matter whether you grew up with the same people you must have the courage to tell some people i love you i'm not i don't have a problem with you but since you are not just going my direction let me tell you you can't play games with god and 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 you, god is not a herbalist that you pray abracatabra with if you are serious with god then go for him are we together i love you and in the name of jesus christ i pray that every spirit of rebellion will live your life in the name of jesus there is hmm, this is this is i don't know why god is giving me this kind of instructions here please don't feel embarrassed there are two boys and one lady two gentlemen and one lady here you need to be prayed for you have an uncontrollable appetite for stealing please don't be embarrassed ordinarily i would not ask you to go out there are two of them it's not like you're a bad person anything you see you must carry one lady and two guys please come out we're just going to give one minute there are so many things we need to do this is a revelation god is giving me please this is a family of faith we're not saying you're a thief but this has brought so much trouble to you please whether you are inside or outside don't be embarrassed there is a lady in this list and there are two gentlemen wherever you are please as you hear the word of the lord make your way to the front you need to be delivered you have tried to stop using willpower it's an addiction you don't use willpower to end supernatural things make your way to the front and i'll be glad to pray with you make your way there's somebody like that i'm i want to pray for this guy but god is saying i should wait for that case there's somebody like that let's celebrate him you are the one there's one more gentleman and a lady one more gentleman and a lady please there's nothing to be ashamed of this is a family of faith please very quickly just one minute there's there's so many other things we have to do sata stealing no matter what happens you can't stop it where's the other brother please don't delay us it doesn't take time to know you have this problem because it's a challenge that you've been trying to solve let me tell you something you see ba these things are spirits it's not whether you are a thief or not if it comes upon you it will make you act that way you may not even use what you are carrying but you will still carry it anyway please where is the last person don't delay us let's pray come let me pray for you before i pray for them the last person quickly summon the courage to come and join them very quickly so that i can minister to you the lord will anoint you the lord is saying i should tell you he's restoring your family huh where are you from i don't know why god is visiting benway states today where are you from from benway states god is visiting benway people in very strange ways it's like the miracle service is for benway people benway people there's a lady self from Benway who is going to be under the anointing now as a testament of this thing I'm saying hi this God I don't know I don't know this this is my God make sure she's from Benway where is she from no 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 don't don't worry don't feel embarrassed my dear I love you and I'm very proud of you. Right? Look at me. Can you go? Come. You love God, but there's one boy around you. Send him a text this night that Joshua Selman said he should never come around you again. Hmm? Don't feel bad. This, this, I'm not, I don't hate people, but number one, this boy is a, is a small boy. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Two, um please there are things i cannot say here huh are you ready for a child now huh yes. she's saying yes uh, no. 
Okay, well, who knows? I mean, Mary was 14 years when she had Jesus. So, please, but on a, on a serious note, eh? you love God, you are a serious lady, but there's something on you that makes bad boys. Bad boys, the moment they see you, you look at them, you look at their eye, you know that they are not serious Christians, and they keep coming to you. But there's one that's been disturbing you. Send him a text and say, Joshua Selman said, please, please, he, he should come for, bring him for Koinonia next week. Let God help him. Yes, instead of driving him, let God help him. Are we together? So I'm going to pray for you. Listen, there are many more people who are bigger thieves that have refused to come out. Are we together? So don't ever be embarrassed. You see, when you ever point one finger at people, make sure that others, be sure that others are pointing at you. I want to pray for you so that you will be free. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Where is our Benway lady? Careful, please bring her. I want to use her to speak a prophetic word. There was a time it was Kogi, right? Remember. So today God has decided, hold my hands. No, 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 the other hand. I want to pray. Watch what happens now. It's called signs and wonders. These ones are not miracles. They are signs and wonders. They are faith boosters. The Lord is with this lady visiting Benway people right now. Visiting Benway people right now right now. God is visiting Benway people. Those altars, now. Now. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, every territory of Benway that has tied the lives of people down, I hold this lady as a point of contact inside and outside. The anointing of God will fish them out by power. Shake take it, take it, take it, take it. I command those altars. Those altars. You come under siege tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. You get the glory. You get the praise, you take the honor. Listen, you will watch all these people come to testify. They may not even know what is happening to them. You are not just falling for nothing. And you don't even have to fall for it to show that something is happening in your life. But there are visitations that God is giving people. Grace in your life and your family. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I command that spirit to leave you forever. No appetite for stealing. Not only is God delivering you from stealing, lust leaves you now. In the name of Jesus. Every lust leaves you now in the name of Jesus. My brother, I command a miracle for you right now. Give me your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody here. You stole fuel. You stole fuel. And this thing brought a problem, but you kept quiet. It's a spirit. God wants to set you free. Please don't feel embarrassed. Fuel, like um, fuel, PMS. I don't know if it's, you know, fuel for something. I don't know what it's for. But you, you found yourself stealing that fuel to do something with it. I don't know what it's for please I want to pray for you because the person you took that thing from pronounced a curse are we together please that's why I want to pray for you we have to pray right now and then I'll, I'll minister to the sick please if there is such a person I want you to come out or maybe someone you know there's nothing to be embarrassed about you're seeing us praying for people you stole fuel it may not be that you are a bad person you see fundamentally people are not bad situations pressures and spirits make people act in certain ways that may look disdainful and embarrassing you must be spiritual to be able to love people in spite of their flaws are we together there's somebody like that oh there's somebody like that the holy ghost is still speaking to me there's somebody like that please 
have the courage to come forward as we begin to pray don't meet me after the service please there is grace and unction to pray for you right now this has to do with fuel that you carried i don't know whether you sold it or you gave it to someone or something like that but then we have to pray for you 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 everyone lift your voice no god is saying i should stop till the person comes out who is the person please my brother look at me i'm not i'm not i'm not um, embarrassing you right is the flesh that caused this embarrassment but you see when god shines light on you it's not unto condemnation are we together he said he who does not have sin should cast the first stone so we're not people who come and embarrass people and condemn them the person you took the foil put a curse upon you and the curse is that nothing you enter will stay in your hand and that's what i want to take away from your life that's why i brought you out are we together now in the name of jesus christ it took a man to pronounce this curse be free now by the power of the holy ghost i command that it leaves you forever 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 i take away that pronouncement from your life in the name of jesus you love the lord with all your heart and you walk in his ways god bless you please stand up and go hallelujah i'm about to minister to the sick right now very quickly and while i you can you can just bring the lady to the front i'm still praying for her hallelujah sister talk to her sister my dear look at me look at me how are you how are you are you fine what's wrong with you you don't know that's how she has been oh that's how she behaves she hears you yes, she, she actually is. hears you when you speak but she won't be able to respond do you know why she's not wicked she's under bondage and we're going to pray for her right there's a reason why i ask you to keep her here i keep laying my hands on her from work she came back i'm praying i don't know who did this thing but in the name of Jesus, as he's leaving you, it will land on that person's head. <laughs> Some of you don't like the prayer I'm praying. I say it again. Whoever brought this, it must land on the head of the person. It's because they didn't do it to your sister or to your brother. That's why you leave your office and return mad. What if she's the breadwinner of her family? That whole family has come under siege. Let me pray before we, let me prophesy to you before we pray. In the name of Jesus, any human agent who has partnered with the realm of the spirit to bring the pain in your life, I pray this night is a night of judgment for them. This night is a night of judgment for them. I say it again. This night is a night of judgment for them. This night is a night of judgment. I command judgment for them. I command judgment for them. Shake it, 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 it. Judgment for them. Judgment for them. Any human agent, I say it responsible for your pain. I command judgment for them. While we ask the sick people to come out, please, if you came here trusting God for healing, now is your moment. While they are doing that, please, let's have all the prayer requests. Just something has happened to her. Just carry her and put her aside somewhere. Make your way to the front quickly. Please organize yourself. Now is the time for healing. Very quickly. While they are doing that, please, all of you, write your request. Listen, hold on. Please. I allow you to switch off your switch on your phones if you need to and call your loved ones to forward their request for you please you can type it quickly and send it here it's not enough that you've written your request please if you even know the request of some others you can write it and put their names because we are going to pray for those requests hallelujah you move mountains you cause walls to fall. Help me. You perform miracles. There 
there is nothing that is the same standing only because you one more time do you move mountains because walk stood for with your power you perform me there is that's impossible. Worship team, you are going to help us. Look how many people have come to be healed. I thank God because God has found a place where he can communicate his healing power to his people. Now, we are going to be very, very fast. This is not for the rest of us to be distracted. Everyone, you should be writing your prayer request and you should be praying. Because after this session, there is going to be a massive impartation. There is, there is need for grace and unction for us. And so we're going to pray. Hey, Jimmy, please come help me. We're going to be praying for the sick. Please, listen. It doesn't matter who prays for you, whether myself or hey, Jimmy, there's a corporate anointing, okay? So we're praying for you. Um, the moment they pray for you, don't leave one line and come and join another one. Just a touch. You don't even have to say what is wrong with you. If we ask you, that's all right. If we don't, please. If there's a prophetic word, you will be given. If you are not given any word, some of you, when I touch you, you now get angry because I didn't prophesy. Look, let me tell you something. This thing, you don't do it just the way you want to do, at least not for me. Are we together? So, you, it has, if there is no word for you, just believe. And then when hands are laid on you, don't just go back to your seat smiling. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do before. If you have to go to the hospital, then you should go to the hospital for test. Are we together? And if there are still people sitting down and not coming out because of the crowd, please make sure you join them. There is a reason why we lay hands like this. I don't do this in other meetings, but then so that we can make contact. Worship team, help us do the best you can. God bless you. Father, let there be miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. Hold on, please. How many months pregnant are you? Eight months. We have to pray. I'm seeing them cutting you. CS, but we have to pray for you. They gave me the list. They gave you the list. Yes, yes. Do you believe God can turn things around? Yes. Cry. There is a God that we serve. Immediately I looked at you. I saw them cutting you with a knife. Huh? Don't cry. I don't know what the doctor said, but in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, there will be a miracle for you. The baby will adjust to his normal position and he will come out the way he should come out, like the Hebrew women. In the name of Jesus Christ, a supernatural miracle is happening to you right now. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Go ahead. God bless you. When I pray for you, go back to your seat. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. now, standing here, not knowing how we'll get through the steps. Miracle for you, the name. but holding on to faith, you know best. The name of Jesus, healing for you. By surprise, you got this figured out, and you're watching us now. And when you look as if we can win, you wrap the sea in your arms and step in, and everything we need, you supply. You've got this in control Now we know that you made a way When a box were against the wall And it looked as if it was over You, you made a way And we're still
standing here. Breakthrough. 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 You came for it. Breakthrough. You are entering the realm of breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough. Not just healing, but breakthrough. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I open the doors right now. In the name of Jesus. And we're standing here. She's carrying a child, please. Only because you made. And we're standing here. Carry the baby, please. Only because you made. And we're standing here. Only because. Please, if someone, if someone is backing a baby, as they are laying hands on the person, ushers, please help so that. Cause you move the mountains. Lord, you move the mountains. Lord, you move the mountains. Lord, you move the mountains. Yeah. And you cause the walls to fall. Hallelujah. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it. The meeting is still on. In the name of Jesus. I declare that every power that wants to stop my testimony, the Lord rebuke you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. You are doing yourself good when you are praying. You are doing yourself good when you are praying. You must testify. They're singing that every power, every high thing must come down. So you pray. Let her go now. Out! 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 Go! Are you praying? I turn to testify in this season and every power that will stop me from testifying I come against it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus come on shout it inside and outside in the name of Jesus every legal access that the devil has over my life and over my family by the blood of Jesus that access is broken lift your voice and pray 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 every access please make sure you are praying this is part of the meeting Every legal access 
the devil has over my life by the blood of the eternal covenant by that which Christ has done on the cross I come against it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. My door to the next level. Hear the word of the Lord. Be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Command that door to open. The access point to the next level of my life and destiny. I command you to be open. I command you to be open. Revelation 3 verse 8. I have set before you an open door. No man can shut it. Are you praying? Your feet as you stretch your hands on this prayer request, Lord. It must be turned to a testimony. Lift your voice and pray. I'm praying on your request. There is a covenant of answered prayer in this house. We invoke that covenant. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing which is gone from, from my lips. Shake it, take 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 let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Supernatural miracles. Breakthroughs. 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 Shepo koto prekete. Eke te te to shoto koto. Maka tapa kata rekete. Rekoto so prekete kate kate. Miracle so God. Miracle so God. Hallelujah. Join me, shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus. 
is that the best in the name of Jesus the Bible says unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come Parakatakata. I tell you fire is burning in this place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ every request that has been dropped before the God of heaven we turn it into a testimony now we turn it into a testimony now be turned into a testimony now be turned into a testimony now between now and the next miracle service strange answers strange answers strange answers strange answers the way i'm walking upon this prophetically in the name of jesus that's how you will walk upon every challenge i step upon it prophetically everything that has mocked god as i step upon it as help them please as i step upon it by prophecy i decree in the name of jesus that that's how you rise above the challenges hallelujah lift your hands there will be a drastic impartation here right now just five minutes and we're done drastic impartation listen the anointing that is coming upon you is an anointing upon your gift it's time for what you carry to speak lift your hands everyone in the name that is above all names at the count of three my god a massive impartation one two three take it take it take it receive that impartation upon your gift that impartation all over this building is yours for the taking it's yours for the taking produce results produce results produce results hallelujah listen the unction for supernatural results in the name of jesus that your results are not ordinary i stand by this apostolic and prophetic office and i command at the count of three let it fall like rain supernatural results one two get ready three take it take it take it take it supernatural ministry supernatural business supernatural family Oh, oh, oh. help me nobody like you Lord nobody like you Lord nobody like you Lord nobody the kind of results you have not seen in your life your business and your ministry I prophesy to you go and produce that result from today go and produce that result from today from today I prophesy it I program it upon your spirit go and catch fire whatever has refused to work in your life you have tried and tried and it has refused to work by this unction tonight we force it to work in the name of jesus hear me all those trusting god for jobs you have done everything you know to do the door is not opening in the name that is above all names go and get your miracle job go and get your miracle job Go and get your miracle job. Every family going through stress and tension. You don't even know what to do. I pray right now. The force responsible for the pain in your family. Tonight, judgment upon them judgment upon them judgment upon them 
judgment upon them. Hear me? Every idea, every concept you need to rise to the next level of your life, I pray for you. In your dream, in your sleep, through visions, may those ideas be revealed to you. Help them, please. I want to pray for students now. Shaka paratatata. The kind of exams you have never written in your life, the kind of CGPA, the kind of breakthrough, take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Help them. Take it now. Take it now. Hear me. Every spirit that makes you blank when you are writing exams, it comes under fire now. It comes under fire now. Whoever is holding your breakthrough, the key to the next level of your life, in the name of Jesus, between now and the next miracle service, they must look for you. I prophesy it. They must look for you. Hear me? You will not look for them. They will find their way and look for you. I pray for you. Everyone here, who has developed his gift what you need is for God to send those who have what it takes to honor it I pray for you listen hear me there is a way you can preach before men who don't need your grace they will rubbish your ministry and make you look like an idiot there is a way you do business in the presence of those who don't even have what it takes to value what you carry but I'm praying for you there is an unction that directs men only to those who can pay for what they carry. Rabbi, help him, help him, help him, help him, help him, help him. In the name of Jesus, that grace, may that anointing direct you right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Everything that has refused to grow here, whatever God has given you that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names. I command it to grow now. I command it to grow now. I command it to grow now. Let me speak over your finances. Many of you have given, many of you have sown seeds, but the harvest is being trapped somewhere. I pray for you the force that releases the harvest of men I command that force to be at work for you now 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 be at work for you now, for you now. hallelujah whatever covers your glory for men to see and bless you you are walking physically but it's ikabot the glory is covered as a young lady you are beautiful but there's nobody to say i want to marry you i command that fail covering your glory be open now be open now be open now be open now. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Hallelujah. Two more prophetic words, and we're done. It says and thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying this is the way 
in this season you need direction everything is not the way to go hear me please hear me there are people right now your bailout is to know what god wants you to do that he told you to do it yesterday does not mean he's still saying do it you need a fresh instruction i open your spiritual ears your sense of perception your sense of perception your sense of discernment be open now be open now finally I pray for you everything that is upon this ministry is supposed to show in your life so if there is honor honor is when God positions men who discern what you represent and openly celebrate it it's called honor honor is not something you lobby for it's not a political position he said you shall call the sons of Aaron and you shall take some of your honor and give them Joshua sorry I want to pray for you listen do you know what honor is let me tell you the truth honor is better than money money can give you things but it may not give you honor honor is when men can rise up and fight for you because they want to preserve what you represent it's called honor he says and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren there are people who do not have honor in their life let me tell you how you know there is no honor in your life there is no helper honor is when men can stand before you and say before you touch him you must touch us honor when a ministry does not have honor you beg for everything you pay for everything you explain everything honor is when men god puts men at the gates to plead your cause you are there praying and somebody is clearing any bad air about you any bad impression about your ministry there is always a voice to say no the hand of god is upon them it's called honor i pray for you what has made you fight alone when things go wrong you explain alone nobody to help you listen this is not about prosperity this is about the ministry of men i have seen this in my life there is such a thing called the gift of men where god will raise men strangely everywhere you go that there must always be a man to advocate for you it's an unction otherwise whenever things go well or go wrong you pay for it by yourself whether things go bad or things go well you pay for it it's because that honor is not there are we together lift your hands i want to pray for you receive that prayer from the depth of your spirit because it will change your life the grace that god has put by covenant upon this house he said that i he entered a covenant with david that there will never be a man the throne will never lack a man i pray for you at every point of your life those who must arise for you i bring them into your life through the mantle of honor through the mantle of honor may that anointing come upon you now let it come upon you now in your going out in your coming in be honored be honored listen everywhere you enter that grace that distinguishes men let it come upon you Hallelujah. Jesus we bless you. Jesus we lift up your name. Jesus we lift up your name. Oh, Jesus we lift up your name. Yeah. Jesus we lift up your name. Give us 5 minutes please everyone no moving around. There are people here who need to give their lives to Christ. Hear me. The Bible says that this is a testimony that God has given us eternal life 
and that this life is in his son please pay attention concentrate no moving around it says he that has the son has eternal life there are two groups of people right now i want you to rush out here quickly those who have never committed their hearts to jesus you have never at any point in your life surrendered totally i don't care how many times you have come for altar call you have not made a genuine decision for jesus number two there are those who have given their lives to christ but the pressures and the vicissitudes of life have pushed you to a point where you have derailed in your walk with God and you are saying man of God I need restoration wherever you are please don't waste our time our time is gone the Lord is calling you right now and I want you to make a genuine commitment rise up and walk to the front right now rise up and walk to the front right now inside and outside God bless you people are coming God bless you people are coming please clear the way for them run like there's fire on the mountain in all the overflows all those following us online you may not be able to come out but prepare your heart to make this prayer with us god bless you god bless you god bless you go ahead and say today is the day i will make a decision for jesus there are still people god is asking to come out don't be ashamed make your way to the front no matter what you have done there is a new beginning for you you deserving of more. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you so much for answering this call. I'd like you to lift your right hand to heaven. If you are still joining them, please make your way. It's not too late. We are not reciting a poem. This is a serious prayer that will determine your eternal destiny. Say after me very clearly, say Lord Jesus. Those online followers, say Lord Jesus. A comment in the comment section. I love you. And then keep sharing. And I keep sharing abroad. And let all keep sharing. I believe you died for me. And you shed your blood for my sin this night I accept you as my savior and I receive eternal life into my spirit the power of sin and Satan is broken over my life forever from today I'm a child of God I'm saved I'm born again in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted father thank you for this once nobody can come except you draw them i pray that this that they have done as simple as it looks oh god i pray that this will be the reason for them to not only spend their eternal destiny with you but to live victorious lives here on earth in the name of jesus christ every power of the flesh of sin of satan is broken over your life from today you move forward ever and backward never in jesus name amen and amen thank you so much for making this most noble prayer i'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they will have your details and they will, will communicate you in due course god bless you appreciate them koinonia very quickly Hallelujah. hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.